good day! Welcome back to another Math Husay Math Learn Tutorial. In this episode, you will learn how to find the number of terms in a geometric sequence. Let's start! We know that the geometric sequence formula is a sub n equals a sub 1 times r raised to n minus 1. This formula will be used in order to find the number of terms in a given sequence. Let's begin. Let's have these examples. Example number 1. In the geometric sequence 6, 12, 24, 48, which term is 768? We know that the first term is 6. The common ratio is 2 because 6 times 2 will give you 12. 12 times 2 will give you 24 and so on. A sub n is 768. And we don't know which term it is. So, using the geometric sequence formula, a sub n equals the first term times common ratio raised to n minus 1, we substitute these values. Now we have 768 equals 6 times 2 raised to n minus 1. Now, to solve for n, we have to divide first both sides of the equation by 6. So, dividing both sides of the equation by 6, you'll have 128 equals 2 raised to n minus 1. How are we going to solve for n? To solve for n, we have to rewrite 128 in exponential form. So, we have to make sure na yung base ng 128 is 2. So, 128 can be rewritten as 2 raised to 7. Kasi 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, 7 times will give you 128. So, this time, we have the same bases. So, we can get now the exponent. So, 7 equals n minus 1. So, we can solve for n. So, to solve for n, we have to add both sides of the equation by positive 1. So, n is equal to 8. So, therefore, we can say that 768 is the 8th term of the geometric sequence 6, 12, 24, and 48. Example number 2. In the geometric sequence 5, 15, 45, 135, which term is 3,645? Again, we identify first the first term, the common ratio, and a sub n. So in this case, we have the first term is 5, the common ratio is 3, and a sub n is 3,645. So using the geometric sequence formula, we have a sub n equals the first term times the common ratio raised to n minus 1. So substituting these values, we have 3,645 uh, 3, rather equals 5 times 3 raised to n minus 1. Again, we have to divide both sides of the equation by 5. So, 3,645 divided by 5, that will give you 729. Equals 3 raised to n minus 9. Now, again, we have to rewrite 729 in exponential form in such a way yung base nya is 3 so that we can solve for n now 729 can be rewritten as 3 raised to 6 kasi 
3 times 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 will give you 729. So, now that the bases are the same, so we can take the exponent now. So, 6 equals n minus 1. To solve for n, we have n equals 7, which means that the 3,645 3, is the seventh term of the geometric sequence 5, 15, 45, 135. Let's take the last example. Example number 3. In the geometric sequence 64, 32, 16, which term is 1? Again, the first term is 64. The common ratio is 1 half because 32 divided by 64, that will give you 1 half. The last term that we're talking about is 1. And we don't know which term it is. So using the geometric sequence formula, a sub n equals the first term times the common ratio raised to n minus 1, we have to substitute these values to this formula. So we have 1 equals 64 times 1 half raised to n minus 1. So in order to solve for n, we have to divide both sides of the equation by 64. So, we have 1 over 64 on the left side of the equation equals 1 half n minus 1. Now, to solve for n, we have to rewrite 1 over 64 into exponential form with the base 1 half. So, paano ba natin to isusulat? So, 1 half raised to 6 is just the same with 1 over 64. Kasi 1 raised to 6 is still 1. But 2 raised to 6, that's 64. So, 1 over 64 can be written as 1 half to the 6th power. Now that we have the same basis, pareho ng 1 half, 1 half, we take the exponent. 6 equals n minus 1. Now, to solve for n, we have n is equal to 7, which means that 1 is the seventh term of the geometric sequence 64, 32, 16, up to so on. To practice the math skills you have learned, Pause this video and solve the following exercises. Type your answer on the comment section. If this lesson helps you figure out how to find the number of terms in a geometric sequence, please like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Remember, ang sekreto para maging mathusay, matuto, at mag -ensayo. See you on the next episode. God bless us all.